Hello and welcome to SAP on Microsoft Azure. My name is Holger Bruchelt and in this video I'd like to talk about how to extend Excel using ScriptLab. In previous videos, we have already talked about how to integrate SAP data into the Office products. We showed how you can use OData um, to very easily connect data from your SAP Fiori applications into Excel without writing one single line of code. We showed you how you can use Visual Studio to create um, extensive projects, how to um, connect to um, external data sources and how to enrich um, your Office products with this. In this video, I'd like to talk about a new way how you can um, connect and enrich your Office applications. Um, we'll use ScriptLab, which is a Microsoft Garage project for, for Office that allows you to very easily create, write and test extensions um, in, in Office. So we'll start with a very simple um, project in, in Excel and we'll connect to an OData service from odata.org. So we'll connect to the airport service, retrieve some information um, from there and um, connect this information back into your Excel sheet. Then we'll do a next step and actually connect to an SAP OData service. And we'll not do this directly, but we'll actually use a logic app to connect to these services. So let's take a look. I'm here in Excel. And as you remember, if I would just like to connect to an OData service, I could just go to data, um, connect to an OData service, and then, for example, connect to an OData service from my SAP Fiori application. That's beautiful and it's very, very efficient. It's very easy. But for example, it only allows you to connect to a data source service and read the information. If you want to do more, then you would have to install Visual Studio, develop the add-in and then um, make it available actually in, in your Excel. Now, what you can also do is if you go to insert and you look for um, available add-ins, then you can search for script lab. So when I type in here script lab, then you can see that it is an add-in for the Microsoft Grasp project that you can just uh, yeah add to your Excel. You don't need to roll it out or anything. You can just install it and, and it should be available after a few minutes here as a tab in your Excel screen. Now, if I click on a script lab, then the first thing that I can do is I can just click on code, which opens up here on the right hand side, this small container. And um, there are actually a bunch of scripts that you can start. Um, to play with. So if you just click here on this hamburger menu, um, there, there are some, some sample scripts that you can use. And one of these sample scripts is something like um, highlight a cell. Um, so you can see uh, here, this is um, when, when a click is done. Actually, there's also HTML code here with a, with a small button um, that, that is displayed. And we'll take a look at this in a second. But then basically, when you click this, this button, then what we'll do is we'll, we'll run it. Um, we'll uh, look for um, a selected cell and change the color to yellow. So very, very easy. For me, the powerful thing is that this is really JavaScript that I can develop within Excel. So if I just click here on run, then script lab starts and I can just select the cell here. I can click highlight the cell and obviously the cell is highlighted. Now I can easily go back here and I can change the color from yellow to red. And no surprise, if I start the add-in again and I click on highlight selected cell, the cell is red. Now, since this is all JavaScript, obviously um, the SAP developer who is very familiar with um, SAP Fury um, knows about um, developing JavaScript, um, can take this as a very good starting point to enhance Excel. So what I've done just to test something here um, or to show what is what is possible, let's um, call or open up this script here. What I'm doing here is I'm just opening a service um, from odata.org. So let's quickly take a look what this service does and open up here the service and you can see it returns a list of um, airports. So there, there's an airport name um, and, and the code and everything. And, and it's, a, it's a very simple JSON reply that I got um, that I get here from, from this specific service. Now, what I can do in Excel is I can just call this OData service um, and I can parse the, the, the response 
and then for example select um, the name um, or here the, the name from this JSON response the the code the location and I can actually display it in this specific workbook or worksheet so if I um, select my uh, or place my mouse here then uh, in d7 d8 and d9 we, we want to put the data from this MO data service so I'll just click on run um, this time we'll, we'll have a small button here run if I click it then we'll connect to the OData service and retrieve um, the name San Francisco Airport the the code and the address location exactly the same as what we saw here from um, from the OData service itself now obviously if you are familiar with SAP you know the API business hub the API business hub has a bunch of um, APIs that are available um, from SAP and for example here on the SAP S4 HANA cloud there there are several APIs available and one of the APIs is for example this bank read information obviously you can also test it here directly um, from the API business hub so you just need to sign on and then when you're signed on um, you can just uh, yeah try out the service so just click on execute here and you get some um, information back from the API business hub. So here, Citibank and, and whatever. You also see here this URL. So this is the URL that I could um, call um, directly from Excel. So if I would use this this uh, this OData service from ScriptLab, I could connect to this service. Well, I also need to pass some credentials um, an API key um, that uh, the API business hub requires. So. Theoretically, I could also do this um, directly from Excel, um, but what I wanted to do is I actually wanted to um, cover or, or protect the specific service. So I created um, a Logic App um, in, in Azure, and via this Logic App, I'll call the service, and I also paste um, the specific API key that is required. So instead of calling the, now the API Hub directly, I'll call this service here from the logic app so let's go back to excel and and open up this um sap example so as mentioned i'll collect uh, I'll, I'll connect to the to the logic app in this case i'll do a post because the logic app expects a, a, a post and then i do the very same thing as before with this odata service from odata.org i um, connect i retrieve bank country bank id and, and, and stuff like that and that's it. So let me just clean up here this Excel sheet. Run this script again. And click on Fetch from SAP. Now I'm connecting via Logic App to the API Business Hub, retrieve the information there, and display the results here in Excel. All without installing any additional tool or, or um, development environment. I can really develop directly here in Excel and enrich the experience that I have um, yeah, in Excel. I hope this gave you some, some ideas of what you can actually very easily do when you want to enrich your Office applications. If you are interested, um, head over to ScriptLab, um, either um, on the URL shown here or um, just search in, in your Office product in the add-ins for ScriptLab and get started. I hope you enjoyed um, watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.